we will certainly enter other vertical markets and we won't just be a cross-border payment solution. We want to help customers grow and scale their business. On-demand liquidity does that. Line of credit does that. We will certainly look at verticals and maybe it's insurance. Maybe it's trade finance. Today, the world sends 155 trillion across borders. If we solve this payment opportunity, we enable the internet of value and should have lots of other opportunities beyond that. When Amazon started, it just focused on books. They chose a vertical, got really good at it and expanded to other verticals. We see lots of other compelling verticals to go after in the blockchain space. And that was Brad Garlinghouse, CEO of Ripple. We've got a great show for you here today. If you like talking about XRP, XLM, and other digital assets, drop an X in the comment section below. Click the like button so we know. And of course, share the content. Let others around the world know exactly what is happening. As we are early adopters, my friend, Ripple Effect, will it be worth the wait? Here is where we are. Early adopters, and then you will have early majority, late majority, and then the laggards. And yes, we are still extremely early. As we can see that, fun fact, less than 5% of the global population is actually invested in crypto. Now, we know we have G20 going on right now. India is welcoming world leaders in this summit. Today is a very, very big day. Agenda priorities are sustainable development and growth, climate financing, trade and investments, digital transition, and strategy for regulating global cryptocurrency. So we are going to have a lot of news coming out today. We will obviously be covering all that and more. Chad Steingrober says G20 World Bank president arrives. This is the same World Bank that if you remember correctly has a document about oh, about cryptocurrencies and stablecoins. Has a document that has highlighted Ripple and Stellar and their technology and what they can do for the world of finance. Now, we know that India, which is part of BRICS, plans to widen use of digital currency, right? They've talked about that. B20, right out of the gate, we must give preference to those platforms that can implement our projects. BRICS can do just that. The SCO can do this, but the G20 cannot unfortunately. Now, he also put out this, and I want to show you this little quip, clip. It's really quick. If you haven't already seen it, how to use a CBDC to make payment. I get it. We're not all huge fans of CBDCs, but it's coming, guys. This is what is happening. Vicky is back again at the Crafts Bazaar at the New Delhi Summit, and here we wanted to bring you an interactive demo in terms of how CBDCs are being used to make purchases, just to, in the same QR code that you're so familiar with. Let's walk by and try to see a live demo that's happening with a customer trying to purchase uh, using their CBDC token, but uh, just through the QR code, like we do for Paytm or any other UPI devices. So as you can see here, we have a customer who has their wallet open. Now I'm trying to pay... Uh using the CBDC and you can see uh, there's a QR scan option which is there. Now uh, what I'm trying to do is uh, paying the user uh, for 700 rupees uh, which is there and there's an option to enter the pin uh, which is there. And we can see the transaction is successful and the notification has come. To I can see the two nodes are used. One is of 200 rupees and one is of 500 rupees. Thank you so much. Thank you. This is a live demonstration. Thank you, sir. And the purchase behind me is completed just as simply. And then you have it right there, the live demonstration. Very easy to use as they're using their phone there. Now, we know that all of BRICS has essentially been talking to Ripple. We know that Stellar has penetrated countries over there as well so it's interesting it is going to be very interesting as things heat up will they continue to use ripple and stellar technology going further as we see adoption continue to happen saudi arabia is actually dumping u.s treasury holdings we can see back in february 2020 184 billion and then now 
still dumping at 108 billion. Now, I want to go back to the PayPal situation with them connecting with Solana, or I should say using the Solana blockchain. A lot of people were freaking out about that, saying, why wouldn't they go with Ripple technology or Stellar technology? This is just one way in which we can connect with Solana and other blockchains. And that is exactly what is going to happen going forward in the world of finance, is we will see all these blockchains, at least the ones that matter with use case and utility, connect. And All Bridge Launch Connects, which this just came out July 11th, 2023, will enable Stellar Network to connect with Ethereum, Solana, Sol and Polygon. And we know that Ripple is able to connect as well. Now, this is crazy. This just came out 17 hours ago. Swift takes bold leap into crypto by adding support for digital currencies for the first time ever. And this is going to happen November 19th, 2023. So literally like just a little over a month from now. It says additionally to adapt to evolve evolving markets swift has also made changes to its foreign exchange messages in the same report there is now added support for digital currencies and non-deliverables fx trades that do not have an iso currency code this format will instead be changed to align with iso digital token identification standard that includes in check character on top of a character code and then finally these changes outlined in swift standards release 2023 along with other innovations will be implemented on swift network starting when november 19th the seemingly relaxed attitude towards digital finance and swift's willingness to not only adapt but to adopt is a breath of fresh air and a sector that has often been viewed as stuck in the past. And we are not stuck in the past anymore. We are moving forward. Another one from ISO 2022 Internet Engineering Task Force specified Ripple and Stellar and Interledger protocol as providing necessary functions to deliver payments across ledgers. You can clearly see right here, right? Ripple, Stellar. Guys, they are part of the new financial system. They are 100% part of this infrastructure that we are moving forward into. XRP Ledger has always been a lightning network, an actual lightning network. As we can see, Bitcoin's lightning network usage is down 84% since last year, and its capacity has plummeted 15%. Over the last three months, the Lightning Network can only handle 5,000 BTC, which is a fraction of Bitcoin supplies. Maxis are dead silent about this. And so what do you think is actually going to be used in the real world and going to be used going forward by countries, by corporations, by individual governments? Obviously, we can see the writing on the wall, XRP Ledger dominates compared to the lightning network g20 what it means the crypto regulation roadmap prescribed and adopted the summit user protection market supervision no ban but a legal tender and regulations implemented by 2025 paper has been accepted as a good roadmap for countries to delve deeper into okay. and hopefully arrive at by the year 2025 100% happening. So Coinbase CEO comes out today and says, SEC chairman may change by 2024. And I believe he also said, obviously, Gary Gensler being out would obviously be a good thing for this industry. Wire transfers happen, what, three to seven days? XRP's transfer happens in three to five seconds. What do you need? XRP. And that is why we see traditional wire transfer companies like MoneyGram, like Western Union saying, hey, no one wants our old technology. And they are actually partnering with Ripple and Stella. New SEC Commissioner Hester Price says she doesn't understand the SEC's rationale for rejecting a Bitcoin ETF. We don't understand it either. Listen, they are just trying to manipulate the market, control it. They know that eventually these Bitcoin ETFs 
ETFs will be approved. In a way, almost have to be because they've already proved riskier Bitcoin ETFs than what has just landed on their desk with Grayscale. And Grayscale has recently had a major victory against the SEC. So things are heating up in a big way. And we will see SEC, Gary Gensler gone in 2024, in my personal opinion. And we will see Bitcoin and the rest of the market take off. What are the different use cases of CBDCs? Ripple's James Wallace, VP of Central Bank Engagements, gets this question. Check it out. Hang on a minute, that wasn't a minute. That was a trick. Was it a minute? Hi, my name is James Wallace, and this is Crypto in a Minute. This is a question I get asked all the time. It's the most important question when it comes to CBDC. Basically, there are three broad categories. There are wholesale CBDCs, which is really what banks will use to exchange money between themselves. There are retail CBDCs that will be used by consumers, for example, an alternative to cash. And then there are cross-border CBDCs where people can exchange money, send money around the world using CBDC. The one that I think most people are interested in is the retail CBDC. So let me expand upon that a little. You know, one very uh, popular use case is an alternative to cash. You have your wallet today. You know, you, in the future, you have a digital wallet. You'll be able to do all the things you can do with cash. But most excitingly, there'll be many, many more things that you can do over and above what you can do with cash today. Also, financial inclusion is one of the big topics and that's actually uh, true around the world where people with relatively low incomes do not get served well by the traditional banking environment. So you know, I think we'll look back in a few years and we'll see literally hundreds and hundreds of different use cases that will be uh, all taken advantage of CBDC. And look at that, I finished more or less on time. <laughs> Couldn't have said it better, my friend. Well done. And Ripple and Stellar are continuing to dominate in the new world of digital finance. We've got a pretty flat day today. Let me know all your thoughts, your opinions, your comments, all that good stuff in the comment section below. We'll get you out another video here later today, so make sure you get those notification bells on. Click the like button, share the content, and we'll see you all in the next one.